So I was talking to a previous client, you know, how's business? What's going on? And she's like, someone's copying all my stuff right now. I'm like, oh, just right now? <laughs> you probably know what it's like for somebody to copy you. You could go back to when you were a kid, somebody copied the way you dressed. Or maybe in the workplace or at school, somebody copied your homework. I don't know. Just, you can think of a time when this happened. And it probably feels like a personal attack, right? Because you put your blood, sweat, and tears into this and somebody's just like, thanks so much for that. I'm gonna take it from you now. The question is, when this is happening, regardless of how much it is actually affecting you, what do you do? I feel like we're seeing this now more than ever and no one's looking at it as a whole conversation. And I wanna start by saying, I'm not sitting here gonna defend copycats, I'm just not. But I think we've all been in a place in our lives where we were like, I really like what that person is doing. That calls to me. This is why we're obsessed with social media because we see things we like and we want to continue to see things we like. And so it's a manifestation. It's like this, this pulling of things we want more of. And so ultimately we get inspired. The problem becomes when you just plainly rip someone off as your starting point. But most people don't know how else to start. They just think, I need a template. I need a format. I need a process. I need something that looks good to me, looks like the right thing to me, so I'm going to do it. But taking someone's work is wrong. There's a really fine line, especially with the world of social media right now, that's like, I'm going to be inspired by this idea versus I'm gonna take it. The actual scale runs the gamut between somebody who's like, I'm just getting my start and I need help, but I don't have anybody to coach me, so I'm just looking at the thought leaders of the world online and I'm gonna use that information to figure it out, to I just straight up am going to be an imposter of someone, steal their headshots and pretend to be them on an Instagram account, which you see all the time. I get DMs from people constantly. Amy, someone's impersonating you in your own YouTube comments. It happens. It sucks. It's very, very hard to come up with the money and time to fix it all the time because there are just literal troll farms that are doing this and trying to sell you crypto. I don't know what to tell you. Like it's just, it's, if you hear that I am selling you crypto, it isn't me. I don't know what else, <laughs> like it just, it's not me. I'm never selling you crypto. So the scale runs the gamut, but when you're the one being stolen from, someone's stolen your identity, someone's stolen your work, someone's stolen your passion, what you do with it is what determines what comes next. The first thing you need to do when someone's stealing your work is to remember why you started doing it in the first place. Did someone inspire you? Did you start because of someone else? Ideally, you didn't copy them, but you know what it's like to begin somewhere and be inspired by someone's work. So take it as a little bit of flattery to begin. It's gonna be a better start for you. But you have to remember why you're doing it. Most of the time, we're worried someone's copying our work and that it's going to take from us, literal take from us, as in my customers are gonna go to them, people are going to buy their product instead, etc. But if someone is starting because they see your work and they think, that looks good, I think I'll try it, that is not the same as why you started doing what you're doing. And I want you to remember your individual example of why you're doing what you're doing. Let me tell you, when I first started making YouTube videos, it was not socially acceptable, but I saw a lot of people making beautiful videos I thought were very cool, and I was inspired by them. When I started doing social media marketing, it was not also very socially acceptable, but I never thought I was gonna be a marketer. I never saw anybody doing it and thinking, that's really inspiring. YouTube, social media, going into business, all came from a place of I am genuinely excited when I have found my way of serving someone. Because I had struggled with that up until that point. I finally found a pocket for me. I found where my value was. I found my calling. And when you have that feeling, and that's what's starting you on this journey, somebody ripping off your Canva design, it is what it is. Because where you started is from a true place of originality that is individual to you. And that cannot be ripped off. Your Canva template can be ripped off very easily. As a matter of fact, someone might take it and turn it into one that people can buy and they'll literally make money off of you then. <laughs> but regardless, it's like you are worried about the minutia and this is their starting point. Their starting point is based on nothing, nothing real nothing human connecting. 
It is based on the perception of what they're seeing and how they might be able to turn it into success for them. But they have no real information and no real calling as a part of it. And that's unsustainable. A copycat is starting based on assumptions. They are making assumptions about something that works, but they actually have no idea. Because what is working for you is completely dependent on the key ingredient, which is you. The second thing you should do when someone is ripping you off is to stay in rhythm. Stay focused. Keep the rhythm of what you're doing. What happens is anytime that we're doing anything we're excited about and we're trying to figure out, is this the thing? Is this the thing? Are we going to keep doing this? Is this the thing? Is this really right for me? Obstacles come. And imagine it like you're going on a run and all of a sudden like a, a, a orange barrel from construction rolls into your path. What are you going to do? When that orange barrel is coming, are you going to quit? Or are you going to jump over it? Are you going to walk, go around it? Are you going to pause for a second and wait for it to like get out of the way? What you do with that obstacle is completely and entirely up to you. And especially depending on the adversity and the size of that obstacle, what's going to happen here? A copycat is an obstacle. A copycat is a test. You're being tested. Is this thing real? Is this thing sustainable? Is this thing right for you? It's not even a conversation of whether it's right for them anymore. It's a conversation of, is this enough to take you out? Is this enough to end it for you? Like, is this enough to call it quits? Ask yourself that. Because if the answer is no, stay in rhythm. Keep the pace. Keep going. Because if it's your calling, the universe is just testing you to just make sure you can stay on. Can you stay on? That's it. That's all this is. Someone doing something like you to the point that it looks like it might be you is a test to see if you're the one that can stay in rhythm because they can't be you, so they can't keep up. The third thing I want you to do when someone is blatantly copying you is let the community go to bat for you. It doesn't matter if you have one person who knows what you do or a hundred million followers who know what you do. When someone is blatantly ripping you off, the community is going to step up. Okay. I get people who reply to my comments like Amy's not selling crypto. This is a fake account. Do not look at this. Or you see someone has taken your Instagram account. People who know you, people who know who you are, are going to go to bat for you in that situation. They'll report the account and they're going to come back to the verified version that is you. When someone is blatantly stealing your work and then ends up promoting that same work to your loyal audience, your loyal audience is going to be like, bro, there's someone already doing this and they were definitely there first. And I feel like there's no originality over here. This looks like a blatant stealing of work. I'm not buying from you. Let them go to bat for you. If you spend not only all of your energy, but then your outward brand consumed with correcting someone who is in a troll farm somewhere or someone who genuinely just doesn't know any better. That is taking away from you. It's taking away from your personality, your brand, your time, your energy, your everything. Let your community do the work. Let it be known that it's all going to work out. Okay. The karma is going to pan out. Everything is going to fall in your favor. If this is right for you if you keep going. Now, should you use the things available to you? If you have a trademark, can you send a cease and desist? Can you enlist a lawyer to help you? Let the good people do their work and you continue to do yours. I've been in the situation where I've had a trademark. Somebody ripped off my name, moved it around a little bit, turned it into their personal URL. We sent them a CND. They didn't respond. They didn't do anything. There was nothing I could do. I spent energy. I spent money. I bought a trademark. I did all the right things and nothing mattered. Their URL just ended up expiring. Like they, it was such a stolen idea. They didn't even follow up on it. <laughs> they didn't even renew the URL. Okay. So it couldn't have been doing much for them. So what we do is we fuel what's happening and we make it bigger because we're so personally upset about it. You are right to be upset when someone steals your work. You are right to give it the energy it is worth 
and nothing more than that. Because if you give more than that, you take from yourself. They're not taking from you anymore. You're taking from you. The final thing that I recommend when someone is stealing your work and when they're not, like this is what you should do all the time, continue to improve. First is not always best. Best is best. Be the best. Be the best at what you do. And the only way to do that is not to compare yourself to others. The only way to be the best at what you do is to be the best for your target. There are lots of ways I could make videos on this channel. There are lots of ways I could Instagram. There's lots of ways that I can write books. There's lots of ways that I can do my job that would be in comparison to someone else pretty good, but I don't care about that. I don't care about anyone but you. You are who I'm here for. You are who I'm serving. You are the person that had to have this video at this time, which is why I didn't put makeup on. I turned a light on and I just started filming when I was feeling the moment because you are the only thing that matters. It does not matter what is on this screen with me. It does not matter where I'm sitting. It doesn't matter what's in my background. It doesn't matter at all. It is what is right for me and you and that is it. And the right people will be here in turn. So I'm going to continue to be the best. Even when everyone's like, Amy, oh my gosh, people put bookshelves in the back of their videos now. They must be stealing it from you. I didn't invent the bookshelf. Very flattering that people think that. <laughs> Everybody likes to give me credit for the original bookshelf. I didn't invent it. If people put bookshelves in the background of their videos and they saw that I did it first, I think that's pretty cool, actually. I don't know. I don't but but that's not a big deal, right? But when it is a big deal, it's a big deal. But when it's not a big deal, it's not a big deal. It's your choice of whether it's a big deal. You have to remember to just do this for why you decided to do it. Stay in rhythm and be the best and be the best for the person it matters to because everyone else is going to fall away. Karma will get where it's got to go. And the people who don't have the right reason to be here won't be here long. Your community will make sure of it, by the way. One more step you might want to take is to start the day on your terms, pick up my new book. It's one page a day. And I hope that it offers you a little bit of insight so that you can go into the day a little bit more focused on the right things that are going to move the needle for you because I want you to be so successful. I don't want anyone to take your work from you, but I know that most of the time what they're taking is just the surface. Don't give them anything deeper than that. Start the day on your terms. Pick up the book if it helps, gmgl365.com. That's all for today. Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate it. As always, remember, subscribe for good vibes, kiss the ones you love, and go after the life you want. Cheers.